As anyone who has looked up at the night sky can attest, there is something captivating about the universe. For years, people have gazed at the stars in wonder, trying to make sense of the infinite expanse. From distant stars and planets to nearby moons, there is so much to explore in our universe. While we may not have all the answers yet, astronomy has come a long way. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three new discoveries to uncover more about the universe around us. Mysterious heartbeat detected coming from cosmic gas cloud. A heartbeat is, of course, what keeps us all alive, animals and humans alike. Throughout the natural world, we show we are in tune with one another, with our surroundings and with ourselves through the rate of our heart. This brilliant phenomenon is now being used as an analogy, describing the synchronized pulses of a strange cloud of gas and a black hole way up in outer space. Is there some form of intrinsic connection between the two? What is causing this strange heartbeat to occur at all? Scientists have discovered that a cosmic gas cloud seems to have a heartbeat in which it is emitting a gamma ray that is yet to be explained. A statement released from the DESI National Research Center in Germany reported how an international team of astronomers made use of data obtained from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico alongside measurements gathered from NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. From this information, the research began to take off, having pinpointed whereabouts the gas cloud was. It can be found in the constellation Aquila, more colloquially known as the Eagle. This gas cloud is pulsing, or seemingly beating, to the same rhythm at the same time in complete synchronicity with a black hole. This black hole sits 100 light years away, leading the researchers to believe there is some form of link or connection between the two celestial objects. A quasar is the brightest thing we know to exist within our universe. A microquasar is, as the name would suggest, a small version of this. Typically, they consist of a large black hole bringing the huge source of light as it engulfs stellar objects surrounding them. This black hole in particular forms one aspect of a microquasar system called SS-433. Also part of SS-433 is a star 30 times the mass of our Sun. This star and black hole orbit one another within the microquasar system, with the black hole gradually taking in matter from the huge star. This constant pulling of matter ends up with a disk forming around the black hole. Jean Li, the lead author of the study this international research team conducted, said that this material accumulates in an accretion disk before falling back into the black hole like water in the whirl above the drain of a bathtub. He goes on to explain that some of the matter does not fall down the so-called drain that is the black hole, but rather it is launched at a high speed as two narrow jets from one another, in opposite directions, one above and one below the accretion disk. This jet is made up of particles moving at incredibly high speeds, combined with strong magnetic fields. These jets cause X-rays and gamma rays to be emitted, both of which were then detected by the Fermi Space Telescope. Researchers have explained that the jets shoot out into space along an uneven path, spiraling instead of firing in a straight, linear direction. This is thought to be a result of the accretion disk wobbling as it rotated. The microquasar sways over a 162-day period, mirroring the behavior found in the data gathered for the gamma ray that was leaving the gas cloud with a heartbeat. The research team suggested the cloud, named Fermi J19130515, had a heartbeat as a result of the microquasar, and that this SS433 system may be what was powering the rhythmic beating. The one thing that is still baffling researchers is how there is an influence upon the microquasar from so far away. This puts a significant amount of space in between the black hole and the gas cloud. Researchers, although they have made this connection, are unclear how the two items have become intertwined in such a manner. Lee described the link as an unambiguous connection via timing, though explains that despite the somewhat irrefutable relation, we still have no idea exactly why this link is present. More observations and research are needed to begin to decode this mystery, though for now, 
This is just one more thing we do not quite understand about black holes. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope spots the most distant ordinary star ever observed. The night sky is quite a sight, beautiful to look at, dotted with little twinkles and glimmers of light here and there, reaching us from thousands of light years away. Among those pretty specks is also the most distant star ever seen, and it's not a supernova. Detected by the Hubble Space Telescope, now nearing the end of its reign, it has detected light from a star now called Icarus, but formerly known as the mouthful Max J1149-2223 Lensed Star 1. When first observed, Icarus was a mind-blowing 9 billion light-years away. However, over time, this distance has only increased. That said, according to experts, Icarus will also have faded in this time, forming either a black hole or neutron star. To put this better into perspective, 9 billion light years ago takes us three quarters of the way back in time to almost the Big Bang. The reason this discovery is more amazing is that stars this far away from us usually cannot be detected even with the strongest and best technologies unless they have the energy and brightness of a supernova. Hence, the fact that Icarus was a normal star when it was picked up by the Hubble telescope makes it a record-breaking discovery. With astronomers saying that it is more than 100 times further away than the next most distant observable star, they also think that it must have been luck at how the heavens above aligned, allowing us to see this star in a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Now that Icarus has faded and progressed past being an ordinary star, who knows if a new staggeringly distant star will be discovered to take its place in the record books. A pair of merging black holes are heading for collision. 89 million light-years from Earth, deep inside the constellation of Aquarius, lies a galaxy known as NGC 7727. It is within this fateful galaxy that two extramassive black holes have been discovered a merely 1,600 light-years apart. Scientists believe that in less than 250 million years, these two colossal black holes will collide. Never before have astronomers seen black holes so close together. Other black holes we know of are far from one another, yet these seem to be moving towards each other as time progresses. The initial image of the black holes in NGC 7727 was found in Chile using the Very Large Telescope at the Paranal Observatory. These are also the closest two black holes to Earth, which is why their discovery is so thrilling for researchers. The second closest pair of colossal black holes is five times further away than those of NGC 7727, an entire 470 million light-years away from us, making looking into them a Herculean quest. The University of Strasbourg's astronomer Karina Vogel was the main researcher behind the study that discovered these black holes, which are respectively 6.3 million times that of the mass of the Sun. According to Karina Vogel about the prospective black hole collision, these processes in astronomy take billions of years, so we can't follow them as they happen. But we've caught this in the act of the merging process. This is a phase that we aren't typically able to observe very often. Vogel also stated about their discovery, The black holes are silent, they're not very loud, and that's how these have been overlooked. There may be many more supermassive black holes hidden outside of the centres of galaxies. Her belief is that if one accounts for supermassive black holes that lie away from the center of galaxies, then the estimated amount of giant black holes in our cosmos could increase to upwards of 30%. Supermassive black holes such as these ones are typically believed to reside in the center of every single galaxy. But when galaxies merge their black holes, in turn are set to collide at the very least, this is the hypothesis that seems to be being actively proven true. Holger Baumgart, who participated in Vogel's study and is the co-author of her research, explained the process of black holes merging as the small separation and velocity of the two black holes indicate that they will merge into one monster black hole, probably within the next 250 million years. The merging of two massive black holes could be one of the reasons that the largest black holes in the observable universe exist. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.